Hello people from the internet, I want to show you hopefully quickly an add-on which will uh, enable us to do in Blender uh, something which is uh, very intuitive into a software mainly designed for architecture which called SketchUp. Um, a tool which called Push-Pull tool which um, uh, push and pull faces entities to add a subtract volume from your 3D models. Basically you can do something like that very very quickly much more quick, quickly, quicker than in uh, Blender. I'm going to show you how to uh, how people do that into SketchUp. They use a line tool and they create the surface they want to work on. For example, a door, for example, a balcony, and then they simply uh, use uh, the push-pull tool and they create here their surface and they can add more detail by uh, using other lines, for example, another door here. And we're going to use the push-pull tool and we have very quickly already something. Now, if we want to go into Blender and be as quick, it's not going to be as simple. I'm going to um, <clears throat> activate the keys so you can see what I'm going to use as keys. Okay, here. I'm going to use the knife which is the equivalent of the line. C for constraint, I'm going to do a door like uh, just before. And this is uh, quick, uh, no problem. I can go on the roof uh, and I can create now my balcony uh, very quickly too. I can uh, do that. The <clears throat> problem will be to uh, do the same uh, push-pull. Uh, I will select uh, the door and obviously if I uh, push here, uh, it's not what I uh, wanted. I could go for an extrude and this time I have additional here surface. Uh, I could go and extrude here for my balcony and I've got additional surfaces. You could say, well, it's not that problematic. You just can select uh, your surface and you could remove it. And hey, uh, well, it's not as easy because I still have to cut here. You could say I could use Boolean and well, it won't be as quickly and intuitive as the push-pull tool. So what we're going to do is simply uh, find an add-on to have uh, the same behavior. Um, the add-on is called, is called Add on extrude and reshape uh, from Manoe on uh, GitHub. You simply go for the raw file here and you simply right click save as the Python file into one folder on your hard drive. You can then install your uh, script uh, as usual by uh, going to uh, File, User Preferences, um, Add ons. Uh, install from file uh, your Python script or zip if it's a zip it's a Python file here install from um, file and then you check it so you activate it and you click on save user settings so you find it again when you launch uh, Blender <coughs> next time you can check it is installed by going into the menu folder and you can see that there is an entry called extrude and reshape if you uh, click it, you can now have the same behavior. Uh, you need, unfortunately, to uh, select it again here, and you have the same behavior. Okay. So um, in order to don't have to uh, go into the menu to uh, search for it, you can add a, a shortcut here. So you simply uh, go for right click and you uh, go for add shortcut. You put your mouse into this section and you simply type your shortcut. You can, um, if, if it's not the behavior you really want, you can also go into file, uh, user preferences, uh, you go into input and you can search for a key binding. So I did alt E and I can see that uh, into mesh mode, um, I've got Alt E for uh, extrude and reshape. You may eventually have to uncheck the call menu because it, you won't have a direct access then to extrude and reshape. So if you have something else uh, using Alt E, you can uh, check this way that you only have uh, what you want uh, here. 
and then uh, save uh, user settings. So I find this add-on extremely, extremely useful. I hoped I would find this way before. So uh, thanks to the guy who developed it, and I hope this is going to be useful for other people. Thanks, bye.